explain to you what what is the state of taqwa i say i received an email actually a few years ago and it tells you a story about somebody who uh, just went to college he's a young man and he wants to document his life so when he goes back home he could share it with his mother with his father with his friends and when he could grow up he could share it with his friends and his children so what he did he wanted to document first month in the college life so what he did he went and he bought up a camera in every room of course except the bathroom so he bought a camera in the living room in the hallway in the bedroom so he could document his life so what happened after he bought up these cameras now he became conscious that there is I and an I recording everything that he done so now he start behaving himself there's certain things he used to say and do he doesn't do them anymore there's certain things that he did not do right now he's doing them very careful there some friend he used to uh, invite over his place now he's not inviting them anymore why because he has something recording everything he's doing so he says yes i may go back and erase them but how about if i die before i erase them and my parents come and find the camera or how about if i forget to erase something so let me be in the safe side and make sure i behave myself so after a while after two weeks he start feeling bad he says subhanallah because of a camera a plastic eye that i placed with my own hand i became very conscious and i became very aware of the things that i have done and how about allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's eye that i had nothing to do with placing it up there that's recording every single thing in detail and there's nothing i could do about it to erase anything in it so being in that state something looking at you and you're aware of that this is the state of taqwa